hello everyone you welcome back to my youtube channel it's good to have you here once again so today we're going to be making the traditional iran buba iran buba is a type of traditional attire that's worn in this western part of nigeria nigeria is in west africa and it's just a very easy free top with a wrapper okay with a wrapper that's being wrapped around the waist Okay, so today we're going to be using this lush fabric. It's lace, okay? It's lace, cord lace, corded lace. And um, you can see it has the selvages. The selvages have been embellished with um, crystals. So there's a particular way in which this is sewn, okay? There's a particular way where this is sewn because the person who wants to wear it wants to make sure that this shows on the edge of the sleeves and it shows at the bottom of the wrapper okay so quickly let's go into it this particular wrapper we're going to well, first of all we're going to cut out the wrapper we're going to be cutting out the wrapper for this from this material this fabric is four and a quarter yard so we're going to be cutting out the wrapper first and when we cut out the wrapper after then we'll now cut out the blouse so for the wrapper we're going to be using two and a half yards we're going to cut out two and a half yards two and a half yards is two yards and 18 inches and when we're making this wrapper we normally fold at the edge of the wrapper we normally at the edge of the wrapper we normally fold in two inches okay most people if this is the traditional way of sewing it so when we remove four inches from two and a half yards we have like three yards and um, 14 inches left for the main wrapper which doesn't make it too big okay so let's go into it after all this expansion so on this side now we're going to be measuring out our two and a half yards that's two yards and 18 inches so let's do that and we'll cut it out so i've gone ahead i've folded this part here is two and a half inches so i'm just going to cut a straight line all the way down to cut this out we're going to be folding in two inches okay two inches this is how the traditional wrappers are so it makes the edges more thicker okay and it makes it more neater so we're going to be folding in two inches so i'm going to iron down two inches okay so that when i go to my sewing machine i'll just sew it for all these places that have the crystal i'll melt it and remove the crystal so that my needle my needle will not um break while the needles are going over it that's basically what you do for um, fabrics that have this then also i'm going to be having a sash okay this is a trendy rural wrapper so a lot of now what what is trending is that people put sashes at the end of them this i'm going to be using this beautiful satin fabric because it's correlated to this i'm going to be using this beautiful satin fabric to put a sash at the two sides of the wrapper where it's going to be wrapped so by the time the person wears it and ties it it looks nice so i'm going to cut out this sash also i'll show you how to cut it out also so basically just iron this down fold it half a quarter inch then fold it another one one quarter inches the rest so that makes up the two inches for here as you can see this place here i'm just going to melt out the melt out the stones melt it out and remove all the stones from there so by the time my this is the back side by the time the i am um, the needle goes on it it will be easy it won't it will be easy to sew on so i'm done pinning down i'm done pinning down i've already folded it i folded in two inches i use one quarter inch okay to first fold it then the many one one quarter inch to fold it this way so you can see it is neatly folded in for the two sides so i'm going to take my my fabric this beautiful cool satin that i want to use for the sash okay so i'm going to fold it i want it a length of 30 inches it's going to be 30 inches long i want it 30 inches long so I have quite enough okay I want it 13 inches long and the edge of it the end of it is going to be about five inches wide okay it's going to be about five inches wide because it's not going to be straight I'm going to curve it a bit 
so I just come here this is my 30 inches I mark my 30 inches like this okay and this place is 5 inches so I'm going to mark this end here this end here is going to be two and a half inches at this end here two and a half inches and what I do now is I connect this line up to this place here I will connect this line up to the edge of this space here. Yeah. I'll connect it there. And I'll go up by another half inch. Take it up by another half inch. Okay. And curve it down. Curve it back straight. I'll go up by half inch after this half inch and connect it back to the edge here to give it a sharp edge and there we go so i'm going to cut it out now cut out the two of them so that that's it okay. so i'm done cutting out the two sashes okay i'm going to first before we do anything about it i'm going to put some interlining here at the back side of it to make it a bit stiff okay to give it some structure because it's just just a little bit not too much okay just to give it some definition some structure i'll put it at the two of them then go to the machine sew up these sides sew up all the sides except in this one that i'll use to turn it sew the two sides and i'll put it at the top end of the wrapper where the waist is the waist part of the wrapper okay so let's go on to cutting the booba which is the top part of this outfit so this is the remaining fabric now now we want to make our booba this is the remaining fabric so to make our booba we first need to take our measurements okay we first need to use our measurements and the measurements that we basically use is the widest circumference of where the booba is going to stay that is on the top the bust stays on top your circumference of the breast of this person of the bust is 46 her hips is 44 so you can see that it is the bust that has the highest circumference not but not particularly the hips so we're going to be using the circumference of the bust to determine how much of this wrapper we're going to cut i'm sorry of the booba that we are going to cut okay so when we're making it because we want to put ease we want to put a little bit of ease in the booba we're going to be adding two inches to the measurement of the bust so instead of using 46 i'm going to be using 48 okay for the measurement of the bust so 48 divided by 4 gives me 12 inches just look at this carefully so that you understand okay this is the total lease okay this is the remaining lease so i'm going to fold the selvage to selvage like this i'll fold the selvage to selvage one side to the other as you can see the edges to the edges like this okay okay hmm? then i'm now going to fold it this way okay this is going to be the total amount i'm going to use for the booba okay and this booba now is going to be divided into so now i'm going to be taking my measurement 12 inches that i've already calculated 12 inches that i've already calculated okay i'm going to be taking 12 inches that i already calculated you can see we folded it at 14 so this is 12 that i'm going to be using then i'm going to be using one inch okay for the sewing allowance okay so we can mark it here so just make sure that you mark it all the way down as you can see if you can see correctly you can see that the lace here has gone in a bit so we just make sure the cutting make sure that it is equal what do we have here we have 13 and a half here we have 13 here so we just make sure that everything is 13 and a half just make sure that everything is 13 and a half inches okay okay so now we cut down also when you fold it also when you fold into four you also make sure that it is long enough okay this is 25 inches which is long enough for this particular person or for some people 25 inches is not long enough for their booba 
So what you have to do, or basically what we do, is that we'll take selvage from the remaining parts here, okay? We'll take selvage, we'll cut out some more and join to the selvage there to however much the person wants. But for this one is 25 because the length of this lace is 50. So this is enough for this particular customer. That should also be taken into consideration. So quickly, I'm going to cut it out now. Okay, so this has been cut out. We're also going to be cutting out the neck, the neckline. It's better to cut it smaller than cutting it bigger, okay? Always cut smaller before it cuts bigger. I'm going to be using four inches depth, okay? By three inches width, okay? Four inches depth by three inches width. And I'll just use my curved ruler. It's better, it's easy to adjust when it is small than easy than when it is big. It's better to adjust it. If it's too small, you can come down and cut trim a little bit off again. But I'm using four by three. Okay, so now we want to cut our booba sleeves. Okay, the booba sleeves is calculated by how long the person wants her booba to be. Okay, okay, remember that now we already have 12 inches. This is the shoulder line now. So we already have 12 inches here. Okay, so we're going to just calculate. I want us to look at this carefully. Okay, so to measure what the what we're going to use for our booba. The person wants her booba. We'll measure, we'll start, we'll start taking our measurements for our mid neck here, on the neck bone, and we measure all the way to how far the person wants it to stop. The person wants it to stop around here, which is 22 inches, okay? Remember, you just take the measurement from the mid neck, okay? Mid neck all the way over your shoulder and all the way to where you want it, and that's about 22. Okay, so we have to take that into cognizance, 22 inches. Okay. So, we can see, remember that our buba now, okay? Our buba is 12 inches. We've used 12 inches here, okay? So the balance of what, remember we started our neck from this way here. So the balance of whatever is left is what we're going to be using for the neck, for the sleeves. The person wants the sleeves to be 22, he wants the booba to be 22 inches long, okay? We've already used 12 inches for the booba, so what we have left is 10 inches, okay? So we're going to be taking our sleeve, this is what we're using for our sleeve, we're going to make sure that our sleeve length is 10 inches long, okay? And how wide we want it to be, it's going to be 10 inches long, so let's go ahead and cut that. So here we go, I folded it, salvage, okay, and I'm folding out, folding it together, and I'm folding, I'm marking out 10 inches, okay, right here, you start from the edge of the fabric, and I'm marking out 10 inches, but I'm also going to use 1 inch to join, so it's going to be at 11 inches, okay, so I'll mark out 11 inches. mark out 11 inches so now the question now is uh, how wide do you want it to be we already have the length here now it's going to be how wide that also depends on the preference of the customer okay for me i use about 10 inches okay that's the standard booba length some people may want it more some people may want it less so for this one now it's 10 it's already been folded into 10 inches but i'm going to make it like 11 inches so that i could have joining allowance so here we go, this is 11 inches, so I'll just cut it out now. So I'm cutting 11 inches by 11 inches, which is like a perfect square. So right here, I'm just cutting out the second sleeve. Then I'm going to go ahead and measure, remeasure before attaching the sleeve onto the main body of the, the, the dress. So I've measured it and I'm now going to mark the midpoint 
of the shoulder as in just notch where the shoulder ends the exact point okay mark it and also mark the one of the sleeve also so that i'm going to attach it at the two ends if you notice i just marked attached to the two ends it's going to be face front face to front face of the booba and i go ahead and pin it down all the way till i get to the end of the sleeves i pin it down all the way and I do it for two sides it's easy to do and it's fast but you must pin down the midpoint of the shoulder of the of the shoulder of the booba and the midpoint of the sleeves of the booba so this is the sleeve of the booba as you can see it here this is the neckline I've already turned the neckline here and this is the sleeve that I pinned down earlier on. So now I'm going to sew it in. Sew it from the beginning of the sleeve here to the end of the sleeve on the two sides. I'll sew it in by one inch and I'll sew it. So I've joined the sleeves now. I've joined the two sleeves and you iron it out. This is still on the back side and you arrange it. Yes, arrange. So the final thing I'm going to do now is I will go to the sewing machine and from this place now, the edge of the sleeves here, hmm? the edge of the sleeves here, I'll sew it all the way here, okay, you leaving one inch allowance, all the way the edge here, all the way here, when I get here I'll turn my needle, lift up the lever, turn my needle and sew it all the way down. When you get to the edge here, like you mark up like four inches from the bottom here this is where you're going to be stopping your sewing because for your bad traditional um booba you don't sew it to the end so that's all for the end of this tutorial if you have enjoyed this tutorial if you've learned anything please subscribe to my channel like drop your comments and i'll see you in the next one thank you bye